Well, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Another wonderful day to share in the Word of God. Another wonderful day to receive the Word of God. Another wonderful day to believe the Word of God. God has given us another opportunity to believe Him and act His Word out. Why? Because there is life in His Word. There is light in His Word. There is peace in His Word. There is victory in His Word. And today you and I have another opportunity to believe the Word of God and act it out and see its fruition coming into our life. Today I'd like to encourage you from Luke chapter number 18 and verses 1. I'd like to encourage you from Luke chapter number 18 verses 1 from the New King James Version. The New King James Version, Luke 18, 1 says this. Then he, referring to Jesus, spoke a parable to them. Them who? Them disciples. That men always ought to pray and never lose heart. So today, if you ask people, when do you ought to pray? Some of you say, I pray in the morning. Some will say, I pray in the afternoon. Some will say, I pray at night. Some will say, I pray once a week. Some will say, I pray twice a week. Some will say, I pray for two hours. Some will say, I pray for five minutes. Some will pray, say, I pray for so long. But here Jesus was speaking to his disciples and he was telling them how they ought to pray. And he says that men ought to pray always. So in other words, you should always be prayerful. Don't go for a long time without prayer, but don't pray for long. There are times you need to pray long, but your daily habit, your every time habit should be always in prayer. And prayer is simply communication with God, just like you'll communicate with your spouse or communicate with your friend or communicate with your parents or communicate with your children. You just communicate the same way with God. And Father, I thank you for this day. And I ask you just to help me know what to do, when to do and how to do. You have prayed. So never go for a long time without prayer and never pray for a long time. You create that habit, you will always be in prayer. And that is what Jesus was telling his disciples. Men ought to pray always. When? Always. When? Always. You ought to pray and never lose heart. Which means you're going to face doubt. You're going to face fears. You're going to face unbelief. And he's saying... Don't give in to doubt. Don't give in to unbelief. Don't give in to discouragement. Don't give in to fear. Continue communicating to me because as you continue to communicate to me, I will answer you and I will show you what to do. And therefore, if you give in to fear or you give in to doubt or you give in to unbelief or you give in to discouragement, guess what? You have short-circuited the answers to your prayer. But he says, continue. Continue to speak to me. Continue to call upon me. Continue to uh, speak to me and I will answer you. I'd like to encourage you today. Fear will always be there. But you can walk free from fear. Discouragement will always be there. You can walk free from discouragement. Doubt will always be there. But you can walk free from doubt. Why? Because being a child of God, you've been brought to a place where you can walk free from those things even though they are present. And so Jesus is encouraging you that I am the hope of glory inside of you. I am strengthening you. I want you to continue being in life union with me. Speak with me so that I can answer you and guide you free from fear, guide you out of trouble, guide you out of doubt, and guide you out of discouragement. And we need to do this always. And when we do this always, guess what? We will always triumph. We will always have victory. We will always have success. Why? Because we choose to pray always and never give up. Means God is ready to help you whenever you're willing to work with him. And Jesus is encouraging us today, continue praying always. Continue speaking to me always. Why? Because when doubt and fear comes, I will help you out of it. When discouragement comes, I will help you out of it. Don't pray to me when you're in fear. Don't pray to me. No, don't pray to me only when you're in fear. Don't pray to me only when you're in discouragement. Don't pray to me only when you're in doubt. Pray to me always and I will help you out of fear, out of discouragement and out of unbelief. Because you have made it your daily habit. That is our way of fellowshipping with the Father. So you stay blessed today as you're making it your uh, daily habit of always being in communication with our Father, 
and he'll help you out through everything and you'll never even be frustrated about them because you've learned to stay in the secret place of the Most High. Stay blessed and have a wonderful day.